My name's Rachel Lynch. I'm a hockey player, recently retired um, from the Australian team. I uh, went to a couple of Olympics, two Olympics, three Com Games, three World Cups, and yeah, had a 15 year long career, which I'm very proud of, and now working in sport. So we're in Holland, World Cup for hockey, so it was in 2014, and uh, I'm a goalkeeper, so wear all the, all the equipment, had a helmet on as well. Um, had an incident in the game where I came out and did a sort of slide tackle with the player. I got the ball, but as she sort of kept going, she kneed me in the head, um, which made my helmet come off. And usually in hockey, if the goalie's helmet comes off, they should stop play. Um, but as it evolved, they, they didn't. Uh, I continued for the rest of that half. And then at half time, I remember coming off. And one of my roles as a goalkeeper is to call our penalty corners. So we have, you know, maybe four words that we use to call the different variations. And I had to ask the other goalkeeper who was on the bench what they were, because I just, I had completely forgotten. I, I didn't have any sort of any other symptoms, but I just have no memory of, of the game from that point onwards. <laughs> this was, yeah, nearly 10 years ago and probably the education around it wasn't there. Um, I personally should have known better as I'm a nurse as well, but um, in that moment, other than the memory loss, I didn't speak of it again. So I, I sort of didn't tell anyone at the time and you know, definitely should have, obviously would have flagged it with our physio and our doctor. I think understanding as an athlete, the long-term effects and things that can come from what you might feel to be a really innocuous incident, um, the reporting part of it is so important so that you can then hand it to a professional to then make the judgment calls around what should happen next. Nowadays, we're learning that it's often the, the smaller incidents that can cause just as much of, of a problem. So for athletes to know that it's really, really important to um, you know, share these things and, and be really honest with the information and with their symptoms. If in doubt, sit them out.